Did they take care of you, Dr. Ah, Davis? Yes, thank you very much. And I, I, I'm going to take them on the eighth floor just to find what I need. And I'd like to uh, give you a check for the first week right now. Does this thing work? Yeah, try this one. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Dr. Morrison. Mm -hmm. Those things you were expecting from New York, I had them put up in your apartment. Oh, that's very good, Henry. Now, if there's in a bill for them, uh, just give it to me now. Huh? Um, uh, it's a woman's prerogative to change your mind. I'm sorry. I'm not going to take it after all. Thank you. Althea, this is ridiculous. I, th I think it's ridiculous of you to grab my arm in the middle of a lobby. I'll give you your choice. I will either steer you to that couch or drag you. My reputation's safe. I've paid my bill. It's quite comfortable. Try it. So, this is how you spend your lunch date. I didn't say I had a lunch date. I wasn't specific. I said that I was busy. And apparently you are, choosing a very logical, comfortable hotel to live in, until you discover that I am a fellow tenant. I'm on the tenth floor. Where were you until you changed your mind? The eighth floor. It's academic now. No, it isn't. You've got to leave the Powers house. Yes, but you said that I didn't have to rush about it. Yes, well, you don't have to rush, but why waste time? This is the perfect answer. Well, maybe it is for you, but it's not for me. Now, out here. I haven't invaded you at the clinic, have I? This morning you asked me to leave, and I left. Now, I assure you, if you stay in this hotel, I will not lurk in the corridors to ambush you on your way out or your way in, and I have no plans for kicking your door down. Excuse me, Doctor. Out here, I made a deal with you. You call me John, and you didn't choke on it. If I call you John, will you just get out my life not, permanently? Not a prayer. Bellini, Bellini. Now, a funny thing about Bellini this morning, I saw the way you looked at him. He is just a friend. I believe you now. You can always believe everything I say to you. No. I had to see the two of you together to be absolutely certain. So there isn't another man in your life. Now, you know where that leaves us. Oh, it leaves us where we already were, nowhere. No, you're dead wrong, Althea. I'm free now, and so are you. Nothing stands between us except your anger. Once burnt, twice shy. I loved you then. I love you now. Tell you what. Why don't we pretend that we just met this morning and that, by a strange coincidence, you happen to be moving into the same place I'm living? Oh, what an interesting game. Yeah, all sorts of possibilities. You haven't had lunch? Neither have I. There's a charming pub across the street, and we could uh, carry on the subject. But um, you've forgotten. I was going to use my lunching time to settle up my housing problems. Yeah, you are here. The desk is there. You're absolutely right. Um. John, could you give me a dime? Oh. Thank you. Shall I, uh, shall I fix it, Mr. Clark? Um, uh, uh, no, I'll handle it in just a minute. Uh, hello, Dr. Bellini, please. Hello, Nick. Hi, it's me. Yes, I, you know, I've changed my mind about everything. I've had so much difficulty. I would like to take that apartment. Would you ask the super? Oh, good. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, and I'll see you in a little while. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. I'll return that dime as soon as I can. 